Lesson for All, daily at 6 a.m. Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Palco. I am Roger Allen. This morning, I'm going to share with you the topic, Abraham's Mission. Before I do so, I invite us to pray. Let us pray. Loving God, our Father, we are grateful for another day. We are grateful that we can share with each other. And as you help us to share from this quarter, I pray, dear God, that you will guide our thoughts, be with the hearers and the listeners. Please forgive us of our sins. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So Abraham's mission. The text gives an interesting indication about the position of Lot in the city of Sodom. Lot was sitting in the gate of Sodom. This means he was an important character in the city. Certainly a public officer because sitting in the gate of is a privilege of officers, judges, and kings. In Genesis 19, almost parallel to chapter 18, and the story of the angels with Abraham, Abraham and Lot were each sitting at an entrance of the rest of their abode. Abraham and Lot each prepared food for their visitors. Whatever else his faults, Lot had some good characteristics, it seems. Then the Lord, out of heaven, so he overthrew those cities, all plain and all inhabitants of the cities, and that grew on the ground, based on Genesis 19, verse 24 and 25. We don't know how many people were living in the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah at the time of this account. But among these thousands of people, only four left the city, and only three were saved. The same with the Genesis flood. We don't know how many people were alive then, but we know that most of them were not saved. The small number of residents of Sodom who were saved has implications for our mission. Not everyone will be saved. We would like everyone to accept Jesus and his plan of salvation. But each person has a free will. Our task is to invite as many people as possible to make the choice for Jesus. While we have carried out our mission, God assists us through the Holy Spirit. But we will never go against the will of anyone. Free will means that in the end, no matter what we do, no matter how much we pray, salvation comes down to each individual trust. And that, my friends, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Loving God, our Father, you call your people to go and preach the gospel to every nation, kingdom, tongue, and people. Father, I pray that as we receive this great commission, we will do our part so others may come to know you. We would like everyone to accept, but there are those who will resist. But you say, O oh, Father, that your word must be preached for our witness, and then the end will come. So help us to do our part by being missionaries for you. Thank you, dear God, that you have given us the strength. And I pray as we go forward, we go forward in faith when we are able to do the impossible. Thank you for hearing and answering our prayer. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. So thank you so much for joining today. Please join tomorrow for another episode of Alpha. Until then, God bless you. daily at 6 a.m.